So, um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Thomas. Uh, I'm here with Nicholas. Um, so, Jambit Mozart. Um, it's a, a hack that we made, which is building further upon uh, existing open source software uh, called TensorFlow. TensorFlow is something made by Google uh, open source. It's a machine learning framework, and it allows machines to generate stuff. Now, one of these projects uh, that Google is running is called Magenta. The full screen would be like... Everybody, like yeah, just press the, the green. Okay, and then present mode. Or next, next slide. <laughs> so, um, it's called Magenta. And this project within Google is all about making new art uh, with machine learning. Um, now, the first art that they've basically created is new um, visual art. So if you could start the video, just click, click on there. Or you have to go into present mode. Just. All right. So basically, what you need to feed machine learning algorithms is data. Um, and in this case, what you see there is uh, pictures from uh, existing art, um, like you have uh, Van Gogh and uh, others. And then what happens is they apply the style of these painters to existing pictures, generating new pictures in the style of, basically. So the question is, can we do the same thing for music? And so um, we took the, the Magenta, or let's say the, uh, the TensorFlow library, and we gave it sheet music. Now the problem with sheet music is it's typically based on paper. And so the first step you, you need to do is you need to digitize it first, uh, which is um, something that we are going to launch like in a, in a crowdsourced way, uh, which is called uh, OpenScore. Um, and I think Paul already touched upon it. So given the semantical data, so just not paper, but really the semantical data of music, and feed that to TensorFlow, you can then ask TensorFlow, all right, play me music in the same style. New mu music generated from the music that you have fed the system. And so in this case, the music that we have given the system, it's Mozart. Um, so basically, what will happen now in what? And, and friends, not only Mozart? Oh, okay, all right. Well, all right, the, the point was to give it only Mozart, but I think there's a little bit of Haydn in there, right? Okay, all right, so, so we'll, we'll sing that out later. But for now, it's Mozart and friends. Um, and so what will happen is that the system is now trained uh, to return music. So we seed it with some music and it will return in the style of. Um, and this, is, this hack is based on AI Duet, uh, a hack made by the Google guys. And we uh, extended it with MIDI export. Um, so what will happen now in this demo is that uh, Nikola will play something, whatever, a few notes. And then the system will respond uh, in the style of Mozart and friends. Uh, so Nikola. And he's a drummer, so don't shoot the pianist. So yellow is Mozart and friends, blue is Nicola. <laughs> voilà, there you go, that's the end. So <laughs> So basically the more you feed it the better it will become. As you can hear, it only returns in monophonic music. Um, so polyphonic would be an addition. Another thing is that it, it's not returning any velocity, uh, so no dynamics whatsoever. Uh, that's another thing you could add to the trainer. Um, and yeah, that's it. So I hope later on you can play with this thing. So after the, the hack day, uh, like come, come over here and uh, have it uh, Ah, and on Thursday, we'll be demonstrating this as well, uh, a bit improved, uh, at the Music Tech Symposium. Um, 
So in the Mozarteum in Salzburg. So see you all there. Thank you.